Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? My name is MC Shaggy. Um, I'm the president of Sip Nation. And um, I just wanted to catch you up because um, I just made some posts about PPV, EIL loans, and all these things. And people just were a bit confused on why this is tea. So I wanted to go ahead and bring that to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, turn off the request to go live. I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to talk to the comments because I want to be clear. I'm going to speak as slowly and clearly as possible. This is going to be my Heather voice because people are, for some reason, a little confused on why this is tea. And I'm going to bring you up to speed as best I can. Um, I'm going to give everybody just a little quick question to come on in. If you want to ask a question, you'll be able to ask a question later. Uh, also, I'm on high alert. Y'all know I stalk the comments. I've been blocking people left and right. If you want, if you don't like what I'm talking about, if you don't like who I'm talking about, please, the X button is right there and you may be there. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube for the first time, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I promise you get a key out this channel. We're shady, we're messy, we're pesky, we're, me we're shady, we're messy, and we're petty over here at Sip Nation. Um, so, let me just break it down to you like this. When the pandemic hit in March and it became a thing, the federal government passed what's called the CARES Act. The, CARE Act. the CARES Act had two components for small businesses to get relief. One of those components was the EIDL that stood for the Economic, Industry, Economic Impact Disaster Loan. Um, and what that loan entails, it included a 10, an up to $10,000 grant, which did not have to pay back, and an up to $150,000 loan that had to be pay, paid back over the period of 30 years. That loan was, was you are, were allowed to use that loan for uh, expenses and capital in your business during the pandemic because you were, and that's what that loan was allowed for, according to the CARES Act. There was also a PPP, which stands for Paytech Protection Program. This was a, an additional loan that you got that was specifically catered to your employees' wages. If you had employees before the pandemic, you had to lay them off, they didn't get enough. You were able to try to keep your employees using the PPP, Paytech Protection. Was it wrong for any small business to take advantage of the loans? No, it's not wrong for any small business to take advantage of the loans, especially if they suffered loss through the pandemic. What is wrong is for uh, businesses to use the funds for things that are not or what they're not supposed to use for. And so this is why this is team, because either these women are lying to you and saying they got it like that and they them girls and they got all these millions and yada, yada, yada. Or they're just like everybody else and needed this to do whatever they needed to do. In the case, so I'm going to take one at a time and I'm going to break it down to you on why this is. Now, I would like to say this. If you don't need to know why I do what I do to these people or anything, you can go Google that or YouTube it. It's all up. Type in MC Shaker and their name and you will see a wealth of information because I have documented a lot of stuff on these women. Um, one of them I think is a devil and one of them is just probably a, a dummy. So it's like the devil and the dummy. Pink and the brain going together. That's what they are to me. I have my reasons why I think they are. Do not ask me why it is because you will not you will be blocked. You need to go on. If you need to know why it is, why I do what I do. Um, it's because I can, I <laughs> feel like it, and I'm going to do it whenever I feel like it. Okay, so understand that if you think I'm hating, if you think I'm obsessive, if you think that's it and that's just too much for you, go ahead and press that X button. It's just that simple. You don't have to, if you want to help them out, you like them, guess what? Press the X button. Because you're not helping them by giving me these numbers. Because with these numbers, I can do this. I can say, look, somebody who will to pay me $150 to promote their business right now. And I can get that, so you're helping me out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to promote mine. Make sure y'all go ahead. If you want this chocolate, silky, smooth skin that I got, y'all can get that at Sip Cosmetics. Sip Cosmetics, sipcosmetics.net. It's your number one source for all your facial needs. An ethical black business. Now, let's talk about some unethical black businesses real quick, shall we? Sure. Okay. So, in, let's, let's take one before the other. 
Uh, which one should be first? Oh my god, I just I dislike them both equally. So um, it's like I, it's like which one I hate the most. Um, so we're gonna flip the coin, the little shaky coin. This will be heads. This will be tails. Okay, heads will be super set because she has the big nose, and tails will be Judy because she has a rock booty. And so whoever, and that's what it is. And whoever we land on is whoever we talk about first. And so. It's heads, big nose, okay, big old nose. We're gonna talk about super set. Oh, uh, as or as we like to refer to her over here as Sib Nation, stupid penny. Okay, so let's get into it. So, all right, if y'all can remember, stupid penny, and um, y'all like to do that hell of a yeah, stupid penny. Okay, so this is two things that we talk about here. Stupid penny around May made the shade room for purchasing the lot next door. <laughs> And um, made references when all that stuff was going on to that little company over there. Talk about Sip Cosmetics. That little company. And she just really stunned on me. Then she went ahead and posted her bank receipts one time. Now, when she posted her bank receipts, that wasn't for me. That was for Lou. When her and Lou broke up, she posted, oh, look at my bank account. She stunned out for the gram. I mean, like, she really went ham. She went, uh, I buy lots and stuff. And that little business over there made your little $10,000. And which at the time, um, Sip Cosmetics had probably grossed around $12,000 worth of sales. Um... Or whatever. So it wasn't. We definitely not on. Oh, it's not so head level. You want oh, you hear me? But all this stunting. Where did this come from, girl? Like, where did you do this at? You posted all your bank statements, and I bought the house in that little bitty business over there in reference to my little company. Well, what my co what my little company didn't do is get a PPP loan. What my little company didn't do is didn't get nothing that wasn't allowed for it outside of the EDIL, which I got $2,000, and that was it. But And that was a grant that doesn't have to be paid back. But let's talk about her, okay? So what I did was, of course... Um, in these lawsuits that she had. So what I did, the, the so that the so federalpay.org is a company, um, is a website that tracks where the PPP loan data came for the first CARES Act. Now, mind you, there is two components to this, and there was a second disbursement about it that came up. So that data isn't out yet. This is from the first CARES Act, the very first CARES Act from that time. So you have to think nearly a year ago. And so it tracked that data. And that data, first of all, I have confirmed that she did get the EIDL, which was a $150,000 loan. I thought she was a millionaire, like, and I thought her business didn't suffer. And I thought she was, she told Andrew Caldwell, oh, I made $26 million last year. Well, that's not what you told the EIDL people. You told them that you, your business suffered. Suffered so much that you're listed on this website as your business haven't even opened back up yet. A lot of your employees are laid off and as well as they still getting unemployment. But I thought you made $26 million. So was your business affected or not? But let's get into it since y'all think I'm always lying. But this is what this is what I'm finding out. This is because can, you, you can't lie about facts. All right. So this is the federalpay.org. And if you do PPP and PPP loan data... And all you have to do is type in her state, which is my state as well, Louisiana, and you type in Wazam Super. Okay, hit a little search, and of course, everything about the business comes right on up. It's so simple. All right, so now according to this, according to this. It's talking about Wisdom Super, Limited Liability, Common Cosmetics, Purpose River. She got a $75,000 PPP loan. That's addition to the $150,000 loan that she got from the EIDL. It got around April, exactly the time, April 2020, the exact time when she bought the lot, was talking about my little business, showing about her stuff. So during this time, she was getting, so so far, that's $225,000 she got from the federal government. Was that received the Paycheck Protection Loan through J.P. Morgan Chase National Association, which was approved April 2020 based on the standard rules. Um, this is what her payroll expenses are. She lied on that. Um, that's definitely not $26 million. Based on their projected 20, so they say she reported 25 job retained. She's only paying up employees $14,000 a year. However, if you go down to the business information, it's underreported a lot of stuff, but it's showing as the business is closed. If you got the PPP loan, you were supposed to keep your employees, right? So it's, it's, it goes into that, and that is the T. And what the problem is, this loan was supposed to be going to retaining your employees. Not buying land or stunting for loot. <laughs> Or post in your bank account. Or talk about Shaky's little business. You're supposed to retain your employees. 
which you didn't do. That's why this is T. So either one or two things is true. She's living like that, like she got, like y'all believe twenty six million dollars. She's shitting on oh Andrew Caldwell. <laughs> I made twenty six million dollars last year. Well, that's not what you told the PPP loan people. That's not what you told them. You told them something else. In some twenty six million dollars, you told them something else. So you either lied to them or you lied to us. Probably. So I hope she not. So okay. So of course you know Sage asked to borrow money, but she only had PPP PPP loan money and stuff. Uh, so she couldn't give him the money. She couldn't. You can't loan loan money like child. Look, I just paid this back. So she was like, mm, then that exit that out. But at the end of the day, I do remember this girl just doing the most with her little coin dealers that she borrowed from the federal government, saying she was gonna pay her employees. Now I don't think she lied to them. I just think she's lying to you, the crayon clueless. Just saying. You can put two and two together yourself. Look it up. The facts is in your face. Y'all can say y'all don't like me all you want. But if you don't like me, you just don't like the facts. This is what the pork is saying. This is what it is. Y'all go ahead. I mean, you can argue with me all you want, but don't argue with the facts. That's all I'm asking you to do, please. If you don't like me, that's cool. Press the X button. But you, if you don't like facts, that's another thing. All right. So let's talk about the next. Let's talk about the next one. Who is I think in my mind a demon incarnate? I think this girl is a demon. I think I think she is the devil herself, and that's the real BB Judy. I think she's the devil. Ain't no way all these kids keep getting hurt around you. Their feelings get hurt. They lose their life. They're being put in hospitals, and you still walking. I have no idea how that's possible unless you are Satan yourself. I think she's Satan. I don't like her. Um, I don't like how she's lying, going around her and Brett going around lying, talking about oh oh we decided to come out. No sister, I dragged you out. You actually sued me because I dragged you out of the closet. You actually tried to get a restraining order against me posting your news. I was pre like I literally put you out of the closet. There's no such thing. It was reposted to every blog site from the shade room to boss up and everything, giving me credit for you coming out. You weren't put out of the closet, Brett. You didn't decide to come out of the closet one day, sister. I brought you. I brought you by. I Brett. You have like you have no edges, but like three real braids and i took them three real braids and drug you out the closet and come here mom because you won't be playing with these kids with this with this monster because you had something to do with that too i saw the little james Con slave contract the brat had a signature on it too and you sit up there and you try to get this woman to lie with you you get tried to get um pull a james mama to sign in and lie for judy and everything so you just good as good, 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 good as the gander while y'all up in while y'all up in that scissoring let's talk about y'all pp loan, pp loans let's get into it <laughs> When I'm on, when I'm on, when you heard me. Kiki Wire Girl, sister, let me see you some Kiki Wire Girl. You pay attention to this video. Y'all send this to Kiki Wire and let her know this was what was coming for her. <laughs> this was what was coming for her. This was what was coming for her if she kept playing with me. But luckily, I, I can't see the check clear, so I'm good. All right, so <laughs> let her know. Let her know. Did you the Girl, he was Kiki Girl, you a dick close girl. You better keep singing, girl. Stop worrying about shaking. This old girl, you about to get... Girl, because I saw your... I saw your bank account from Bank of America and Citizens Bank at first... Citizens Bank and Trust in uh, Shelby County, Kentucky, girl. I saw both of them, girl. And the world was about to see that. This close girl. This close girl. <laughs> All right, so... um, She just don't know the bullet, bullet she dodged. All right, so let's... Girl, okay, so let's look it up for uh, Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Is that, am I spelling that right? Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it, girl. All right, so let's talk about Kaleidoscope. Now, this is crazy. The first part of Kaleidoscope we're going to talk about is this. The Kaleidoscope hair products. Now, this is the part that got me. This girl told the people she was a toilet preparation and manufacturing firm. Toilet preparation and manufacturing firm. So... What I'm getting, <laughs> what I said, so, you know, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm not. I'm not for the pretend to be. I might be a good researcher. Uh, I might be a good researcher, something, but I am not the smartest person in the world. I'm not. But okay, so I have read and researched, and people tell me all the time the complaints they have over the miracle flop. And I don't know. So what you're saying, according to what you told the PPP on people, is that you prepare and manufacture stuff for toilets. So you're telling me there's no difference from this and this. So this is what the people are putting in their hair. You're telling me this 
is what you're dropping in people's head. I, I fell out. I was too outdone. So anyway, let's, let's look into it. All right. Kaleidoscope hair. So according to federalpay.org. <laughs> no wonder it's bad. Everybody's stuff falling out. And kids going to the hospital. No wonder. No wonder. It's been terrible. Toilet manufacturing. Supposed to be Heather right now. Supposed to be Heather with a smooth hands. All right. So look, according to uh, this federalpay.org, Kaleidoscope Hair Products got a uh, loss. For that's what it is. A loan for thirty eight seven forty. Now this is again on top of her hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. Received paycheck. In, 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 in now look at them numbers. One eight five nine two. Now her employees apparently, according to this, are paid thirty thousand dollars a year. According to this, um, now her business is back open and she also applied for an additional benefit for being female owned. Um, I'm assuming that the real BB Judy is the female. I'm not 100% certain of that. <laughs> I don't know if they have the whatever. Okay, so with, in her case, this money again is supposed to be used for, it's not supposed to be used to grow your business. It's not supposed to be used for whatever. It's supposed to be used for capital to keep you afloat during the pandemic or, in this case, pay your employees. Now, what very famous happened in, in this time of last year? Judy bought the bread of Bentley. You're telling these people you're suffering economically to get this money, yet you're making enough to buy the bread of Blantley? This is what you're saying. You're saying you can't pay your employees. Please give me money. So I can buy my boyfriend a Bentley. The golf cart that she can't fit on. That was done during this time. I was sued also during this time. Uh huh. This is all the stuff that was going on. So y'all make it make sense. These people took this this loan money to stunt for the ground. Now, what I would think she's not smart. No, she's smart. She's a cunning little. Hoe. This she's she's like Mr. Burns with fix the flat on her butt. <laughs> Excellent. This is what she's sitting there doing. That's why I always put that picture of her. Excellent. Uh -huh. So she's sitting up there And what she's doing Is literally Using this money To make y'all to stunt like she got it Remember she posted all her bank statements And stuff like that So that's just one She's got a multitude of them That was just one Let me just show you another Now there was another in Georgia I can't have because I'm in Louisiana I think I, I don't, My connection in Georgia is not really like that like that. But listen she actually got another one Outside of her toilet book <laughs> Outside, she thinks she said outside of her toilet bowl business, <laughs> toilet manufacturing firm. Help! <laughs> Don't get mad with me. I get mad with me. I'm only going by what the document says. Okay. This is from that. I want y'all to know. This is literal data. I want y'all to show y'all. This is data from the United States Office of Personnel Management. This is what this is from. This is official data from the United States government at federalpay.org. Okay? So that was that. Was that. Let's talk about Kaleidoscope. But well, she got another loan. Talk about she's a marketing and consulting service. What? What? Marketing and consulting? When you start giving some consulting? Oh, well. Now, this is why this part is kind of weird. Kaleidoscope Management Inc. is also the company that Lil James was in his little contract with. Yeah. Alright, so let's look into that. Now, let's look into that. This one, she got 
Kalasco Management Corporation, this millionaire, they could buy Bentley's at will. Louisiana received the coronavirus-related PPP loan. Coronavirus-related. I can't pay my bills. Corona has stopped me. Can I get some money from y'all? All right. It reported itself as a female-owned business. We're not completely sure she's a female. All right. So listen. Look at the numbers again. Employees, whatever, whatever. This is crazy. This is really, really crazy. Now, she has another business in Atlanta, and that went to that. This one went to, as you can see, Liberty Bank. That's in New Orleans. She has another one that went to her, her EIDL went to a Chase account in Georgia. Now that was for three hundred thousand. It was a two hundred fifty thousand dollar loans for an EDIL that went to a Chase account in Georgia, um, and that's the one I'm having a little trouble getting because I think I'm in Louisiana. It's easy for me to find Louisiana stuff because I'm in Louisiana and I know who to call and I know what to do. And Georgia, y'all state is a little different than our state, and so it's a little different in getting the information I'm getting. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it anyway because I mean <laughs> that's never stopped me before. I mean I did get I did get Kiki Quiet uh, <laughs> bank statement from her. <laughs> <laughs> from Kentucky, so no shit, no team. It's just it's just an extra couple buttons I might have to click it now. But that's what it is. So this is why this is T. Because they were supposed to be using this money to keep people employed. Yet they were using this money to buy Bentleys and stunt for loop. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the comments if y'all have some questions or something that y'all want to say. But I just want to say this before I do. I have in the case of soup, Stupid Penny, I have not been wrong about this girl yet. Yet. Everything that I've told y'all has come to fruition easily and handily. And quickly, actually. I promise you that dealing with these people, I find and I get it and I'm telling y'all what it is. Y'all can look it up yourself. This is also public information at the end of the day. In the case of Tootie Fruity Booty, with all the rocks in the booty, she's a demon. She's the devil. She's selling toilet. Y'all putting toilet products in y'all hair according to what she told the people. So at the end of the day, I have no empathy and sympathy for them because she played with little people's kids. And I don't have no sympathy. I'm going to turn on the comments. But I, MC Shake, and Sip Nation, remain undefeated. You may talk now. <laughs> so look, let me... <laughs> She got another business, girl. I'm trying to get that. She got something registered in Georgia, and she got something else registered in Louisiana. I'm going to get that, too. We're going to get into it. Trust me. Trust the plus. Yeah, undefeated. Undefeated. Y'all make sure y'all go to SipCosmetics.net. Got bonnets and stuff on sale. Use promo code SIP10 and save 10%. How can we report them? Oh, they're going to get it. <laughs> we ain't got to worry about it. We ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> It was the golf cart that she can't fit in for me. <laughs> she about to tip it over. Looking like Barney Rubble and Fred Flintstone in the dead home. Flintstone, yeah, but dab I do. Yeah. And you're right, Patrice. She did raise her tenant rates through COVID. But you got... No problem coming through. How do you find this people, T? Because I'm shaking. I thought they was millionaires. I mean, people... I, I, I told y'all I was an astronaut, but y'all would believe that. <laughs> True. Toilet thing is a story. Why did she classify it that way? Why did she classify it as a toilet manufacturing company? I don't know, but it scares me. Probably because of the formaldehyde and stuff that you use in the toilet stuff. It's probably the same stuff that you use in this. Maybe that's why. I don't know why you didn't get the loan because I wasn't. I didn't want to play with the federal government. I don't like that because small businesses that did need it didn't get it. Yep, I got what was allowed for me to get, and that was it. I didn't get no loans. I got the little grant, and all I got was $2,000. And I'm very candid about that. Oh, yes, I come with receipts and invoices. Like, they can argue with me all they want. Argue with the receipts. Don't get mad at me. They go, did it say toiletries or toilet? It said toilet. It said toilet preparation manufacturing. Toilet. It said toilet. Toilet. That's what it said. That's what it says. Toilet. Now, I say toiletries. It says toilet, like toilets. I'm assuming it's like toilets. That's what they taught it to me. It's a loan you gotta pay back. Who want that? 
Can you recap? It'll be on YouTube. They're going to jail prop, so you don't mess with Uncle Sam. That's a no-no. Because what you going to do, they're going to they're gonna give a whole... Uh, I only got a 1000 kind of grant. I got a $2,000 grant. I'm about to apply for me some more money. Don't do it. Say hey, Jokes aside, fraud like this hurts. This is who we really struggling. Not cool. And say how other businesses have left out because the greed of people like them. Yep. Super got 75 k she, Super really got 225000 At least. $14,000 a year is very embarrassing. That's a part-time job. She might be inventing something to clean it, but okay. Do not play with me. That's the, that's the thing. Y'all need to stop believing everything you see on social media. Please stop believing what social media tells you. If they tell you they got $26 million, if they tell you they make it $26 million, let me say something. Uh, watch this. Find me a video. Jeff Bezos is the CEO of Amazon. He made, he's worth $200 billion. But X, find a video where he's saying he's worth it. True people with money, other people say that. Forbes says it. Uh, 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 Rucker says it. Bloomberg Business says it. But he don't say it. If you are a true rich person, you won't say that. That will be corroborated by someone else. So don't think don't think a fool a fool a fool that money will still be part of it. But don't think his <laughs> saves are trying to get that. No. In fact, and speaking of that, girl, let me see if I got it on this phone. I pray I got this on this phone. Speaking of that, they was asking about the poor death of, of a little Andy. But speaking of that, Judy is really fighting that woman in court big time. And her mama, this is Andy Mama said in the end. This is what Andy Mama said, but that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. I'm not getting into that right now. I have to respect the sanctity of that court case, the little girl, and and I do like the mama. The mama follows me and I follow her. But I will say that Judy did. Judy, this monster, is fighting that woman, saying that woman got all kind of mental problems and everything else in court. I swear, their mama had all kind of mental problems and everything. I promise you. Judy's, Judy's lawyers are trying to tear this woman into shreds. So I don't want to comment on it because it's an open case, but her lawyers are trying to tear that woman into shreds. And I just wish... They just called me as a witness. And I can tell them exactly what type of monster that woman is. <laughs> That's what the mama said. That's what the, this is a, a post from Judy, from the mama, little Andy's mother. I follow the mama. And she's in there. She said, in the end, we'll be a bigger, I don't need to be a bigger mm, than I ever need to be. And she was posting on the thing. And she's referencing... I can't. That's another, I told you that's new tea for another. That's a whole nother tea for a whole nother day. Come on, now, 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 I brew. We brew over here. We don't just spill. But I look like the shade. <laughs> no, we brew. We brew. We brew. She, she, who, who? We brew over here. So, child, this girl from the day one, yeah, we got to brew that. That's some more stuff going on, but just know that monster is trying to play with that poor little girl mama, and I hate that for the people. I wish them people the peace. I wish that little baby peace. Oh, speaking of that, when did uh, her puppet dog do pre die? Well, that should be coming up soon, too, because you know we're going to go in that day. I can wait on that. When did puppet dog do pre die? What's his name? Dupont. Puppet dog Dupont. When did he die? Puppy dog do part, baby. The dog. We're going in on old child. We're going in on that day. What is his name? Puppy dog Dupree. Or something, girl. She done deleted the dude. She done deleted the puppet on IG page. Here you go right here. The baby died July. No, it's not in March. Hold on, girl. Hold Okay, it's the real puppy. It's the real puppy dog. Oh, we about to wear this. We about to wear this dog. March 
March 10th. Mark your calendar. Mark your calendar. March 10th. Listen, March 10th, 2021. We're going to have a holiday. It's going to be called F. Double Dog Dupont. What's going to be here? So listen, because she, because listen, she care more about this dog than she do people kids. So we're going to roll uh, this dog a new tail. The dog that died. She care more about this dog than she do people kids. I promise you I'll do it, girl. We're going to have a, we're going to have a F all dogs that day. All dogs go to heaven. We're going to find out. This girl that made a picture of dog G. Look, so RIP Puppet Dog Dupont, March 10th. Mark your calendars. March 10th. I ain't never forget. I never forget, bitch. I never, never forget. March 10th, we gonna wear that dog thing. We gonna wear that dog. Ooh, girl, we gonna wear that dog. <laughs> Any dog look like that dog. We might find some dogs and roll over them thing. Oh, yes, girl. We about to we about to tear that dog. Ooh, girl. She gonna cry that day. March 10th, we gonna wear that dog. Then. Ooh. We gonna find. We gonna go find. <laughs> Girl, you want to care about this dog more than people, children? Moss Tit, <laughs> Jessica Dupont, you going to be crying on the bread, broad, strong shoulders that day. You're going to be crying on them strong, broad shoulders of that, uh, of that soft stuff. You're going to you gonna, you gonna tell him you're going to need him that day because girl, we're going to walk. <laughs> we're going to, Papa Dog Dupont, we're going to walk him like a dog. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, girl. Y'all gonna be y'all gonna be bad with me. If you like dogs, go ahead and block me now. Cause you ain't gonna like me that day. <laughs> Girl, if you like dogs, you might as well block me now. I ain't even lie. Girl, listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. Girl, if you like dogs, girl, you gonna hate me that day. Cause puppet dogs do pop me. Girl, you go get girl, you gonna get it, girl. Don't stop. Ooh, we're gonna get a okay, we're gonna get a dog pinata, just like puppet dog get bop, baby. Bop, bop. We're gonna get all kind of dog stuff animals and beat them. Oh girl, it's gonna be girl. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> thank y'all so much for joining the live. I just want to break that down to y'all why that's important. Because so many people in the comments was like, well, why? They supposed to have businesses. Yeah, but you wasn't supposed to buy your boyfriend a Bentley and stun on Lou and all this. You were supposed to make your business better. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> thank y'all for coming. If y'all want the recap, it will be on YouTube. That's Charlotte. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Let's see Jake signing off.